President Moon Jae-in on Wednesday received policy briefings from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Unification Ministry. This is the first round of briefings of its kind with an emphasis on discussion and debate. For his part, President Moon emphasized the need for assertive diplomacy to secure the safety of the Korean people and the need for reunification to remain a top national priority. Our Hwang Ojun starts us off. President Moon Jae-in asserted the need for South Korea to play a more proactive role in resolving North Korea's nuclear and missile provocations. During a policy briefing with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Ministry of Unification on Wednesday, President Moon underscored establishing peace on the Korean Peninsula is the most significant task for the nation as it has a direct impact on world peace. He also stressed the importance of the strong alliance with the U.S. as well as collaboration with China, Japan and Russia. However, President Moon added that more needs to be done. Changing his focus to the unification ministry, President Moon said he acknowledged there had been attempts to close down the ministry in the past two administrations. However, he vowed no such thing will happen and asked the unification ministry to do its utmost to prepare for the reunification of the two Koreas. Tensions are high on the Korean Peninsula amid North Korea's threats and the ongoing joint exercises by South Korea and the U.S. So the media were extra focused on these briefings in particular to get a better idea of how the foreign affairs and unification ministries plan to proceed. Hong Wojun, Arirang News.